Hola, how is everyone? I hope good. I'm Sunny with Healing Power Divine Universe, and I am here with a reading on what does your family think of you? What are they thinking of you at this moment about your life, about your decisions, um, about your past, about your past lives with them? Um, what is your family feeling about you? Do they miss you? Do they love you? What is the the gossip? What is the word on that, I guess? Before I get started, I ask if you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, hit that like button, and share this video if you think others can benefit from my messages. Otherwise, let's get started here. Open up. So, with this card, I feel that um, it's not telling you to open up. I think that you have opened up. You have opened up to the higher power and allowed the higher power to shine the love and light upon you. And I believe that you're starting to open up with your family about how you feel, um, what has been going on in your situation. Maybe your family is going to open up with you and tell you a truth that has been hidden for a very long time. But in this situation, I feel that you have opened up. Maybe you have been closed off a long time. And I know that your family's been closed off a long time, but I feel that they are going to open up with you. Maybe they need to tell you a truth. Maybe there's secrets that need to be revealed. Um, but both parties here, or all people here, are going to open up with each other and share whatever they need to share within each other. I do feel that you have really um, became very spiritual throughout your journey and that you have opened up to the higher power. And the higher power is guiding you back towards your family or your family back towards you. We have flowering. When I see the flowering card, I look at that as maybe they look at you as maybe a hippie. You don't have to be. Maybe you're a very colorful person. You love flowers. Um, you uh, really enjoy to be enjoy being outside. Maybe you are a gardener. Um, but they really looked at look at you as a flower, that you were really closed off and you have really blossomed into this beautiful flower that is really allowing the world to embrace you, really allowing the world to see the beauty um, that you have within you and that you um, have without, you know, inside you and on the outside is what I'm trying to say. So your family is looking at you as a beautiful flower that has blossomed into, a, you know, just this beautiful person in general. Impatience. This was in reverse when it came out. So I feel that your, your family knows that you have been very patient throughout this journey, that you have had a lot of patience waiting for an outcome that you may have already received or you're still waiting to come. But you have been reaching, if you can see this guy, he's on this ladder. And you've been reaching for the things you want. You've been asking the higher power to please provide the things that you need to maybe turn your life around if you really have been struggling. And, you, and instead of being impatient about things, you have been very patient. And I think that your family is recognizing that you are a very patient person that has gone through a really tough cycle. And I think that that tough cycle is coming to an end. And I think that your family is really recognizing that for you. Nothing will come of this situation. So maybe they think nothing will come of your situation. Maybe they don't do not have hope that your your situation is going to um, pan out the way that you're wanting. Um, it's the vo void of course moon, just so you know that. Maybe they're thinking that nothing will come of the situation of your relationship. Um, I feel actually that what they're, what that card is saying is that you feel like nothing is going to come of the situation. Maybe you feel like your family has just abandoned you. They look at you in a light that isn't so great. Maybe you've wanted to, rec you know, come together with your family again. And maybe you're feeling that nothing will ever come of this situation. But I'm feeling the complete opposite. Um, I think that that you will come back together with your family. I think your family is wanting to to offer you something, to offer you maybe support and unconditional love. But you've been so patient w while waiting for this to happen. Maybe you've waited for this your entire life. 
and you're at the point where you're exhausted from it and you're feeling like nothing is going to actually pan out from this situation with your family. We have the chariot sign of cancer and it's movement. So your family sees that you're on, you know, a journey, that you are moving on, that you're wanting to have movement in your life. Maybe movement in this situation with your family, maybe movement just in general in your life, but they're recognizing that you are on your chariot and that you are moving forward towards your destiny, towards your future, towards maybe a happy life, a successful life. They are recognizing that. Stag, trust and thrive. So they see that you are definitely trusting in the higher power, your intuition, your journey, and that you're going to thrive in wherever you do move to. Um, they know that you're a very powerful person. They know that you are very strong, courageous, that you have been through a lot. Maybe your family has put you through a lot. Do they regret it? I believe so. I think that they have really used you as an escape goat, as someone to really just kind of beat down when things weren't going very well. And I think that now that you're older, if you are older, you don't have to be. Um, your family is also older, obviously. And the older each person gets in this situation, the more that they regret the way they have treated you, the things they have done to you, and they're ready for you to have trust in the higher power, maybe have trust in them, and for you to start thriving in life. We have forgiveness. So either they have forgiveness towards you or they're wanting your forgiveness towards them. Forgiveness is a huge part of our journeys in our life. At times it's very hard to forgive people for what they have done, said, that you know, their actions. But honestly, you know, um, forgiveness is one of the hardest journeys that we, we are upon. I'm a very forgiving person. At times, it, it doesn't benefit me, and I hate to say that, because at times people take advantage of my forgiveness because my heart is so uh, unconditionally loving. And I know that I can put myself in many people's shoes and understand why people make the choices they make. And it's easy for me to be able to forgive them even if they have hurt me deeply. But I also um, really do believe that forgiveness is, is needed for each and every situation, no matter how bad it is. Not only for the person that has done us wrong or for, you know, if we've done somebody wrong, I think somebody should forgive us. But I think that... Um, for ourselves that forgiveness is important to forgive other people so then we lay down the burdens of what we carry if we're we're unable to forgive a person keeping up time immense effort advance so they know that you're keeping up with the time that you're putting in a lot of effort into something <clears throat> that you are advancing in whatever you are trying to strive towards whatever you're trying to achieve they, they definitely recognize that you work hard, that you put in immense effort in everything that you do, even, even excuse me, um, love towards your family, towards yourself, and your family's really recognizing that. And they're really appreciating that, too, is what I'm hearing. We have death. So, with the death card, you might have lost someone to death. If you have, I'm sending my condolences. But I feel that in this case that there is going to be a rebirth. I think that you have gone through this rebirth already. I feel that your family is now going through this death, going through this rebirth. And while they go through this rebirth, they're really recognizing the mistakes that they've made, how they have treated you, um, and they're wanting a rebirth within your relationship. We have the Five of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is conflict, quarreling, competition. So you've had a lot of conflict, a lot of quarreling, and a lot of competition within your family. Um, maybe people have been jealous of you. Maybe people are jealous of the talents that you have. Maybe it's because you, you live your life not traditionally, and that causes a lot of quarreling and conflicts. Maybe your family have done things to you that just are not acceptable. Maybe they have stolen from you. Maybe they have lied. Maybe they have 
done just horrible things. And you are in this stage right now with them. And they're recognizing that. Maybe they're recognizing that they have caused a lot of conflict and quarreling um, in your relationship. And they have been competing against you. And they're recognizing the wrong of that. And how it has affected your life. How it has affected your relationship with your family. Just breathe. So they definitely know that you are able to just breathe. That you're able to... To take whatever they're dishing out, take whatever anyone's dishing out, and you're able to really go within and just breathe. When I see that card, it reminds me of my mom. My mom would always say that. Her and my daughter would kid with each other. My mom, she wasn't very keen on driving in a lot of traffic. Um, she'd get overwhelmed. You know, we were from a small state. There's not very many people where we're from. And she would say just breathe just breathe or if you were you know having a problem she'd be like just breathe and so my daughter would tell her just breathe granny just breathe when she'd be driving through this traffic so i feel that that represents my mom there and my mom's just telling me and all of you to just breathe just breathe throughout the situation existence so they are looking at you and knowing that you have an existence in this world that goes beyond the normal. That you are connected to the divine. That you may have psychic abilities that people have maybe portrayed to be fake. Portrayed to not understand. Portrayed to be weird. Anything that that people will say when they, they are not quite understanding the existence of being able to be connected to different realms, anything like that. You can see this woman sitting there. I think they now can see and feel that you are different. You might come from a different planet. You might be an earth angel. You could be a star seed. You could be a light worker. And I think your family is finally grasping and understanding that you are different. But that doesn't mean that you're weird. It doesn't mean that you should not fit into your family. It does not mean that you shouldn't be accepted. It's quite the opposite. And I think your family's finally recognizing that. Even if it's taken them 44 years. Enlightenment. So they're having a lot of enlightenment regarding this situation. Maybe the higher power is enlightening them to whom you are, to exactly what your purpose here is on earth, what you bring to each and every one of them. Sorry about that, I had to pause the video for a minute. The next card I have is expect powerful changes, new moon and eclipse. So they recognize that there are going to be powerful changes in your life. If it is just with the family, if it is financially, if it's just with unconditional love towards one another, there is going to be very powerful changes that are going to be present in your life. We have the high priestess wisdom. Now we all know the high priestess is the, the keeper of all secrets. Um, the high priestess is somebody that you just do not mess with. The high priestess has spot on intuition, allows their intuition to guide them. But the, the high priestess is also represented by wisdom. So their family recognizes that you are full of wisdom, that you have been on a journey that has um, taught you many things that a lot of people might not understand, um, that you are very connected to the higher power, that you are here on earth to share that wisdom with other people and your wisdom comes straight from source from the higher power from god himself air guardian shift your perspective so they see that you have shifted your perspective on whatever has been going on maybe they're shifting their perspective and that's what i'm hearing they have shifted their perspective and instead of judging you 
um, harshly instead of looking at you like you're a freak or you're just some crazy person the higher power has taught or has shown them a different perspective and they're shifting their perspective to try to understand you more not to try they are understanding you more and they're starting to embrace the different the, the difference that you are bringing to earth what are you are bringing to this lifetime what you're bringing to each and every one of them and they're they're finding that you are very um, knowledgeable you are full of wisdom and that you are a different breed you're not you they might look at you that you're not from earth or you are not like most people that you are very connected to the higher power and when I say that, I feel that the higher power speaks through you. The higher power shows you things that other people are unable to see. Your intuition guides you. You allow your intuition to guide you. That's how you make your decisions through life. And I think that your family is finally shifting their perspective on how they view you, how they view your decisions, and how you're, you um, go about your life. And it's going to be in a very positive way. Body changes. So they look at you. Maybe you have started to work out. Maybe you have lost a lot of weight um, due to maybe um, just dieting. Or, you know, if you've been like me, I've lost quite a bit of weight because I wasn't eating properly. Because I haven't been able to afford to. It just depends on your situation. But they really have recognized um, maybe that you have, have, your body has changed. Maybe they hadn't seen you in a long time and they see that you have maybe aged a little bit. Um, maybe they see that you're aging gracefully. But they're no noticing your body changes. And with that being said, I look at this beautiful butterfly on here. And maybe they're looking at you as this beautiful butterfly. And maybe you have had such a transformation that it has transformed on the outside of you also. And they're looking at you like this beautiful butterfly on this card. Belong to your own dream. Create your own life. So they know that you belong to your own dreams and that you create your own life. That you do not go with what society st stems to be normal. What society says we have to do and, you know, we can't do. That you don't allow your family to, to push you this way or that way. That you really go with what you want. You make your own decisions and you know exactly what you want. You have dreams of your own and you are going to create your own life. And either they can be in it or they can't, you know, they won't be. Um, I feel that you're a very sensitive person. That you are very family oriented. That you love your family extremely a lot. But you're to the point where you are not going to... Spend any time trying to, to, to make your family understand you, to try to gather their acceptance, um, in the, because I think feel that you have done that throughout your whole life, and so far yet they have not accepted you for who you are, and so you have been on a journey to be able to accept yourself, and to understand that yes I am different than my other family members. But that doesn't mean that I'm not as good of a person that because I live my life differently. <coughs> Excuse me. And that could be a sign that you need to speak this to your family. Because my throat chakra just went. <coughs> um, that because I, I believe different things because I am different doesn't mean that I should not be accepted in my family. That I'm no different than them. That I'm still a human being that needs love, unconditional love from their family. And that's what I give to my family in return. We have the three of pentacles. Pentacles are earth signs. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Success uh, through efforts, gains, and recognition. So they definitely know that you are going to be very successful and you're going to be recognized for the things that you have done or you are doing. And that um, you are going to gain um, from whatever you have done. If it was speaking out. 
if it is from your gifts that you offer other people. Um, and you're going to be recognized for whatever you have um, and whatever you are putting out. If you are an artist, you're going to be recognized for your artwork. If you're a musician, you're going to be recognized for a musician. If you are a psychic, you're going to be recognized for a psychic because you're a powerful psychic. Whatever you are um, putting out into the world, you are going to have lots of gains. And that means financial and maybe recognition on what, you know, things that other people wouldn't be recognized for. But your family's beginning to understand that and they're get, beginning to appreciate that within you. And with that, they're coming towards you um, without fear. Maybe they feared you before. Maybe they did not understand you and they feared you. But I believe that they're they're really um, putting down maybe their old traditions or old beliefs. They're, they're allowing the higher power to guide them towards you and to also enlighten them um, to whom you are and why you are the way that you are and why the higher power created you the way that you are. We have the Ten of Wands in reverse. Wands, again, are fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Ten of Wands is when we're carrying way too many burdens, when we have so much um, weighing us down that we, you know, at times don't can't figure out to go left or right. Um, it causes stress. It causes just unhappiness. Um, you know, anything that is causing us burdens. With that being in reverse, I think that your family's recognizing that you're able to start, you know, taking all those burdens off of your back and slowly setting one down one at a time. And they're recognizing that you have done that through a lot of hard work by not giving up in your situation, no matter what people have told you, no matter what people have um, viewed you as, what the gossip's been about you. And they recognize that you've done this on your own. Are they proud that you've had to do this on your own? Absolutely not. Do they wish that they would have helped you? Absolutely. I think that they have a lot of guilt for what they have done to you. That's why the forgiveness card is here because they are needing a lot of forgiveness. They have also caused a lot of those burdens on upon you. We need to remember that we all make mistakes. We all make bad decisions and we all do deserve forgiveness. Helpless and hopeless. I think they were looking at you as helpless and hopeless, but in in true true light, you were beyond helpless and hopeless. You've never given up. No matter what other people have done to you, no matter what your situation has been, no matter how many burdens you have carried, no matter what gossip has been spread about you, um, no matter what people have been taken out of your life unfairly, no matter if you haven't received love properly from the people that you were showing unconditional love towards, you have never given up hope because you knew that if you kept striving forward, that people would eventually see you for who you are, what you have to offer this world, and to also make wrongs right that people have done to you, and that time is here. They know that you can survive on your own. They know that they can always count on you, and they know that you are never helpless and hopeless, that you keep faith in the higher power you keep faith in yourself, and you have faith in unconditional love. They find you to be very abundant. Abundant in love. Abundant in yourself. Abundant in financially. Anything that you can be abundant in, that you are, or you're going to have a lot of abundance. And they truly believe that you deserve that. They recognize finally that there has been a lot of trickery in your life. Maybe people have been deceiving you. Maybe people have stolen from you, taken from you. Maybe it's been your own family. Maybe you have tried to tell your family what's been going on and they were not enlightened yet. So they did not understand. They did not see the truth. They did not believe you. And even though this card is in the upright, 
I feel that the higher power has enlightened your family to what has been going on and your family has finally shifted their perspective. They finally understand what has been going on, what other people have been doing to you, and they know that they were wrong by not being there for you. They have a lot of guilt. They know you're not crazy if they called you crazy. They know that even though you had so much trickery in your life, that you have never lost hope, that you have kept moving forward. You have kept moving towards the light because you knew that there was light at the end of the tunnel. You knew that the higher power would eventually bring to light the trickery, that your family would have to see the truth, and eventually your family would come back and show you the unconditional love that they haven't before. The end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in a Capricorn. A Capricorn could be strong in this reading, doesn't have to be. But they know that this tough cycle that you have been in is coming to uh, an end. And they, they really um, are happy for you. They are helping this tough cycle come to an end any way that they can for you. We have Three of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and we have Reunion. So if you have not had contact with your family, if you have not seen your family, um, just know that there is going to be a reunion. You're going to be reun reunited with all your family, all the people that you miss and love very dearly. Moon, sign of Cancer. Take note of intuitive messages. So they know that you are extremely intuitive, that you allow your intu intuition to guide you that you are connected directly to the moon you this is a cancer card so who i'm speaking to is more than likely a cancer um that they know that your intuition spot on and you allow your intuition to guide you to make the decisions that you need to make and now they understand before they just thought maybe you made these stupid decisions just out of the whim they didn't understand why you did this did that but I believe that the higher power has really shown them, has really enlightened them on why you make the decisions and your decisions are beyond not stupid because they come from the higher power. Join in. They're wanting to join in in your life. They're wanting to be part of your life once again. They want to um, have you join in in their lives and they want to join in in your life once again. So they want to come back together as a family. We have uncertainty. Choose who you will become. It's in reverse. So they know that you definitely know who you are. You have no uncertainty to who you will become. And they're going to never question or they're never going to question that ever again. Uh, maybe they just thought you were just this irresponsible person that ran wild, um, didn't have a career. Maybe they didn't understand the career that you had. But they are seeing um, you in a different light. The light has been shed by the higher power. And they are going to be there 100% to support you. And they will never question you ever again. Because they know that you are certain of who you are. What your purpose here is on earth. And who you will become in the future. Which is beautiful. The Hierophant. Now the Hierophant... I, I don't want to read it so much in the text that I usually do because this is such a beautiful reading. Um, so the Hierophant stands for uh, traditional values. A wise person provides guidance. And that's how they look at you. Maybe you're not traditional. You don't follow their traditions. They accept that. They know that you're a person that is here to provide guidance to other people. You have been on a journey that has provided you tons of wisdom that you have learned from, you have gained, and you are sharing with other people, and your family is finally recognizing that and appreciating that. The last card I pulled, the star. This is a sign of Aquarius. This is the wish card, and your family, I believe, is part of your wish. I think that you have quite a few wishes, um, but your one of your wish is for your family to come back together, and the higher power is granting that wish. So your family has been enlightened. 
They know the truth of your situation and your wish has been granted and your family will be coming towards you once again. I also want to point out with this card that if you by chance are wishing for an Aquarius in your life, that could be a, a sign that an Aquarius could be coming into your life with love um, in any sort. It doesn't have to be, you know, romance. It could be your father. It could be, you know, an Aquarius friend, anyone like that. Um, also, I feel that the person I'm speaking to is either a female or a male that is has tattoos because I noticed all our tattoos. And your family might not have accepted you because you have tattoos, but now they're seeing the beauty of them just so I can end that reading that way. Anyways, that is what your family is thinking and feeling about you at this time. I think it was an absolute beautiful reading. Um, and I think that you have a lot to look forward to. I think that the higher power has really enlightened your family to whom you are, what you are here to do. And I think that your family has finally set their traditional values aside and is are going to try to come towards you and to make amends, to end this tough cycle that you have all been going through and start again. I think it's a very beautiful reading again, and there's going to be a lot of unconditional love within this. With that being said, um, I hope everybody has a very unconditionally loving day, a beautiful day. Um, if you are anywhere where it snowed, I'm back where it snows. And so I'm just like freezing my ass off, to be honest. Um, I got used to being in Florida, and coming back home has just really... I don't know, not very good. I thought I had missed all the snow, but I guess not. I woke up to snow this morning, so I'm not very happy. I'm all stuffy and whatever else. But anyways, everyone have a beautiful, loving day. Just um, get outside, you know, enjoy nature. Try to go for a hike if you're able to. Really, um, if you are haven't spoke to your family in a long time, reach out to them and let them know how much you love them. Have a wonderful day. Peace.